guys, welcome back to another salon vlog. Okay, today I just got here. Don't mind the noise if you hear it. I'm boiling water for my coffee. I'm on an instant coffee kick. I've literally never done that before. I've had never even had instant coffee, I don't think, before like two weeks ago. So that's what we're doing. But I have a little bit of a haul here for you and I wanted to show you before the day got started because lots of times I intend on doing it like after the day's already going and it just never happens. So I've taken my order just out of the box that came in and, and just put it in a really little bag, but otherwise I have not unpacked it. I have the Ugly Duckling Pink, which I'm putting right on my desk. I needed that desperately. She sent me some sculpting forms, which is all I use is forms. I'm going to give these a whirl. I know that I feel like Magic Gel has a lot of deals on now, and these forms... They look pretty cool. I'm kind of interested in using those. I'm gonna set those over on my desk right now as well so that they're easy to get a hold of. I have more acrylic, I have more liquid. So that's kind of like more pink ugly duckling and more just premium acrylic liquid. Okay, my kettle's done boiling. I just decided to wait. The main purpose of this order not the main purpose, I still needed the stuff I got. I wanted to try the Magic Economy Detailer file in comparison to the Ugly Duckling file that I love. You might wonder why I would want to change a file if I love it so much. And I do love it so very much, but it's pricey. And if I don't find a one to replace it with necessarily, not that I'm looking to replace it, then I will continue to buy them without complaint. I love them that much. They're lovely. They're so nice. Let's first turn the light down. I'm using lots of lighting because it's been a long week. Shape, shape wise. These are the, um, what I would call, you guys might have a different name for these files, but I would call the Magic Gel more of a half moon shape. I would call the Ugly Duckling more of a diamond shape. That's not a deal breaker for me. The next thing I would say would be different is, if we're getting right down to it, is the Magic Gel um, file is, a lighter color. They're the exact same width. Width, I think, makes a lot of difference. I used a couple of different files yesterday. They were a different shape, and I don't feel like that was the trouble, but they were a different width, and that was just had me all over. They feel good. Like, not looking at them, changing them back and forth in my hands. I haven't had my coffee yet, so I can't remember what's where. They feel good. They feel really good. I'm gonna use the Magic Gel ones today with the Ugly Duckling ones on backup. See what comes out of it. I mean, the Magic Gel ones are less expensive, and again, it's just about, I will continue to buy the Ugly Duckling ones if the Magic Gel ones don't work out. And, and that's fine, and I don't care because I do love them. But it's about cost. It's about keeping cost out of your clients' pockets. Right now, I'm just trying to do a couple of those little tiny things just to lower overhead, just to lower cost. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do, but if it cuts quality any at all, I won't do it. Especially with a file, you know, after, if I'd only been doing this for a few years, that might be one thing. After doing this for quite a few years, I need good tools. I'm not using an e-file that doesn't work right, I'm not using a drill bit that I have to like use extra because it doesn't have enough grit in it. I'm not doing that, I'm not willing to do that. I would hang up my file before I would kind of do that because I need good tools. Everything above the waist hurts and we need good tools. Another thing that I wanted to talk about, let's put those down, today is snacks. The stuff to get us through the holiday season, it's not Christmas season 2018 or 17 or 16. It is Christmas season 2022. It's a little bit different, but anyhow. Let's go through a few things to keep you alive, well, happy, and not hangry throughout the season. Because sometimes I struggle with this. Sometimes I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna bring? And like, just keep it simple, keep it simple. So, the make good cookies or, or any other kind of cookie, but in a package that you can open up and just shovel in, you need those. Another thing, like I bring this book bag and I haven't even unpacked it yet today. It is full of things, my pencil, it's been lost that are gonna keep me alive. This is a real food bar. Again, any bar will do, but it's 235 calories, 31 carbs, seven grams of protein. 
it's a lot and that's what I want. But this is blueberry, so cool. I can reach right into this pocket and I know that's where they are. I also, can of soup. The Tim Hortons chicken and rice soup, you can get whatever you want, but it has a pull tab. Keep a bowl at the salon, throw it in the microwave, easy. You don't even hardly have to think about it. Another thing I have in here is fresh contact because girls were using glitter and it's all over the place and you're gonna rub your eye and then boom, all of a sudden before you know it, your contacts are bothering you. So that's it for in here. So everything else is already on top. I have clementines, get your vitamin C. It is six season. I have extra coffee, a whole thing of creamer. Just bring it. Also, some of these Lara bars, like they're just, they're just simple and they don't have to be like entirely full of sugar. But you know what? If full of sugar is what you like and it's what keeps you going, then that's what you should buy. It's not what I like, it makes me feel bad. So I wouldn't do that. Another thing that I bring just as an option is there is protein powder in here. It is a fruit flavor. It's not like a chocolate protein powder or whatever that kind of tastes crappy. This is like a fruit flavor that you just mix with water and it dissolves really well. So because of that, I don't want to take out of my regular that's probably dog hair. Supply, I want to have extra right beside it, right with it. I have like used this and then filled it up from home. I have extra water to mix with the protein because that, especially at like, I don't know, like 2.30, 3 o'clock, you're going home, you know, maybe shortly, I don't know, maybe you have like eight hours left. That protein kind of at that time of the afternoon will keep you going better than like a yucky snack. I find for me, so take that with what you will. These things I actually leave like within reach because sometimes super hungry, I only have 10 minutes between clients. If I can't see it or if I can't get to it easy, I won't bother with it. So I leave all of this stuff, like the clementines I just leave out. They look kind of cute next to my little coffee and, and all that stuff. Sometimes Some of the stuff I leave like in my drawer where I keep my money. When I'm like checking someone out, I see it and I can be like, oh, I can, I can eat that in a minute. Do you, I mean, do what works best for you, but keep some of that stuff around because we be hungry. Another thing that I'm going to add to my collection um, for this season is going to be a, what is this called? It's the Magic Gel Power Reds. It's been out for a bit. It chips a little bit on acrylic. If you do acrylic nails, you'll know that some gel polishes, gel paints, they chip a little bit on acrylic. It's for a few different reasons. I won't get into the technicality of it, but sometimes it's the way you finish file. You finish file at too little of a grit. It needs to be a little bit bulkier of a grit. Some of it can be, you can use something along the lines of, can't think of the name of it, protein bond or a tack that. Um, there's also different, of course, there's Bond-Aid, bond -X. There's Airbond, there's all of those. Every brand has one, if not two. However, you can also use a coat of Builder Gel. Brush on Builder Gel. I have some from Glitter Bells. It works beautifully. I've been testing it on myself over top of acrylic. Put yourself a thin coat of Brush on Builder Gel and then you're polished. I'm going to assume I can do the same. No, I know I can do the same. With a base gel, like with a gel polish base gel. Are they open? I don't even know. Yes. One of them's leaking out, so I know it's open. I had done swatches on these when I first got them. They are all one coat coverage, except for number 218, which is power and satin. So let's look at that. Oh, that's not one coat coverage. So I'm gonna pop up a picture, but I'm, I find it hard to believe that that wouldn't be one coat coverage. Okay, I think I'm gonna swatch these. You know how I feel about that. I think I'm gonna swatch them. I'm gonna dig the swatches out. My client will be here any minute, but I'm gonna have those all dug out so that as soon as she goes, I'll just be able to do them. I'll get them all labeled and ready because that's, that's eight new reds for the season and who doesn't want eight new reds for the season? I had also told you previously that I would give you an update on my new Amazon my new drill bit from Amazon. It's five in one. Link down below in my Amazon shopping. It's Friday. Did I mention it's Friday? In my Amazon links, it's down there with the salon stuff. I have two now. I love it. I love it. Do they last as long as a five in one from Atwood or from Erica's? Maybe not. Mm, I'm liking them a lot. They're really nice. 
Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, it is Saturday and I just came in to clean up a little bit. Like I have appointments on Tuesday in the morning over with before the Botox lady come, but I wanted to get the majority of my cleaning done. Like it's just one client. So if I got the majority of my cleaning done and then I can do that and then not have to worry too much about cleaning because Monday my vehicle has an appointment. I have no idea how long that's going to take. It's been a week long event and I have a tooth that needs dealt with. I have had one filling in my entire life. I was 12 years old. It has since fallen out. I didn't even realize. Dennis told me last time I was there. It has since fallen out. It appears to be gone. I don't know what happens to them. And it's never bothered me. I Zero trouble. I have a really super, this is going to be a short story, I promise. I have really super sensitive teeth. So my teeth often hurt. If I chop down on something, that tooth is probably going to hurt for three or four days. I know that. I'm not going to be able to chew on it. I'm not going to be able to like breathe past it. Like I, I just know that my teeth are sensitive. They hurt 90% of the time. So when this side starts hurting, like a week and a half ago, I'm like, what did I eat? Obviously I've eaten something or if I eat anything like too sweet, like if I'm eating too much candy or whatever, it will bother me. I had had some candy. So I was like, done this to myself. It hurts. It's fine. But last night it's hurting more and I'm drinking like tea, lukewarm tea and it's still hurting. And of course it's a Friday night, like today's Saturday. Anyway, like why do emergency, like dental em emergencies sound emergency at this point, but why does that stuff always happen on like a Friday night? Like you never need a vet through the week. You never need a dentist through the week. That's my story. But I'm gonna get cleaned up and I need to finish swatching those gels I showed you. So I got, did I get four done? I got four done. I never got it what you had to go against this world to go for you. I think this beauty in the gray, the cold, but you just want to go. And there's no way I can beat it, cause I got no chance, no chance when it comes to her. She got the glitter and the fame, and I, I just wasn't enough for you. 